Hi all folks, this is Max from ZetoMax.com. So we're going to install the Mic Froyo ROM. It's Android 2.2. I have actually uh, Android 2.2 here. Um, I've tried the uh, King's ROM gingerbread, but it was too unstable. And you copy over the Mic Froyo, the zip file I give you, into your SD card. Once that's on, that's done, you can go to the golf course and install the ROM. I mean, I'm saying you could. Uh, so hit the power button, we're going to turn it off. Oopsie doo. What happened there? There we go. Power off. And then we're going to go into the bootloader mode. Of course, you have to have your phone rooted already. If you don't have it rooted yet, then uh, you should go root it first. I have instructions at htcevohex.com. Uh, hold down the volume button. And the power button, and then we come into the bootloader mode. Now, from here, we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna wait for, for it just to check for that file, and then we're gonna go to recover using the volume button, power button, all right. And once you're into the recovery menu, you can go down to backup here and restore. Go to an Android backup and press power and backup your current system if you need to. But we're going to return the power button. And uh, we're going to go wipe. All right. We're going to wipe our whole system. Wipe all data slash factory reset. Hit the power button. Power button again. I'll format data and everything. It takes two seconds. One, two. There we go. And we're gonna go to uh, wipe, dial the cache. All right. Sometimes that messes this up. Hit the power button. Hit the power button again. Take another two seconds. One, two. There we go. One second actually. And we're gonna hit the power button on the return. Go to flash zip from SD card. And. Uh, choose zip from SD card alright and we're gonna go choose choose the uh, micfroyo dash v4.4 dash sign dot zip it's a zip file you should have copied earlier that one right there alright and we're gonna hit the power button power button again and now it's updating your phone with a uh, the Mic Froyo, this is the latest version. Actually, the author of this ROM sent me a note on XDA Developer. He said it was cool. So, you know, I like Mic Froyo because it it comes with a USB tethering, and also I believe it has a hacked Sprint hotspot, which is better than the Wi-Fi tether app. I think in my it the <laughs> um, so it's it's uh verifying update package it's gonna install it and I'll be back after it's fully installs cuz I don't want to bore you um, so I'll be back so it says uh, it's done so everything went correctly and we're gonna hit the power button it's on return and reboot system now and now it's gonna reboot into uh, Mic Froyo Android 2.2 uh, I'm sure that guy will have uh, gingerbread also just wait for that I would rather wait for that than go with some other ROM that's kinda unstable because I know everything works with this one so we'll be back after it boots up because I don't want to keep you waiting so it's booting up Mick Froyo not just another themed Evo that's a new splash screen by the way uh, you know, if you want to, you know, if for, for some reason you want to switch another network or you have a bunch of phones and you need to terminate your contract, here's a tip I got uh, online. Whenever uh, Sprint makes changes, like, you know, there's, I think they're adding right now, they're going to add some more uh, monthly fees to data usage. And you can opt out and you don't have to pay any uh, EF, EFT cancellation fees. What you do is you call in and say, I do not agree. I want to cancel my phone because I don't agree with this increased charge in EFT. And when you, you, that's the time you can get out of your contract. Even if you're on two-year contract, that happens, you know, the second month you bought the phone, 
you can cancel the contract like that. Actually, you could probably make money off it. Just buy a bunch of HTC Evos for like 100 bucks or 150 right now it is. And, uh, you know, just cancel it the, the month after, like 20 phones. <laughs> and you can sell it on Craigslist for 500 bucks. It's $300 profit each. 20 phones, it's, uh, it's almost $6,000. Not a bad way to make money. Um, not the best way to make money either. But I'm just saying, you know, I have a bunch of phones on Sprint I'm trying to get rid of. And, you know, you can also check now the early termination loss, they can't charge you more than like 200 bucks. So at the most, they can charge you 200 bucks. And after like a year, that goes down to like almost like 100, 100 bucks or something. And if you have like five or six months left, you might as well terminate it if you don't use the phone. It's only like 50 bucks for like the last six months. And if you're paying like 50 bucks on a phone you don't use or something, then you should just cancel it and get a new phone. Or, you know, just cancel it. Go check it out. I got the, uh, the Micfrolio working. Um, let's go test some, some of the stuff on this uh, Micfrolio. So 3G is working, of course. Okay, that's the... Um, it's still kind of booting up because this is my first time booting up Micfrolio. But I highly recommend it. The last version I tried it was a couple months ago and it was really nice. I really liked it. It has a sense UI. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty pretty custom custom ROM. Let's go see what we can do with it. So, apps we got uh, the only thing I really don't like is ad free, which kind of blocks ads. But sometimes I do want to see ads because I run websites, so I have to go into, you know, how you get rid of the ad free or the blocking things you have to go into a uh, slash system slash etc slash uh, host you gotta get rid of that host file under system e etc and you have to go into root you can do it pretty easily oh and you have to also mount your system is right before you can erase it uh, there's a DSP manager this one's kind of cool you can kind of uh, um, let me see phone speaker you can change the equalizer, you know? So you can uh, raise, is that working? Well, anyway, you can you can set this equalizer. Oh, here we go. So you can have it, you know, the bass, you know, bump and lab when you're on your earphones or something. All right? So that's how I like it. And then uh, let me see on the other apps. Oh, let's go look at settings real quick. I hate peep. Peep is like so pointless. It's like the, I don't know, uh, about phone, legal, no, no, software information. So this is Android 2.2, uh, Micfolio version 4.4, and uh, Sprint Hotspot. I believe this is hacked, so let me see if it works. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Turn on. If you uh, um, if you didn't sign up for Sprint Hotspot, you're not paying for it. It's not gonna work. But it works on this one because you don't get an error. If you get an error, that means you didn't pay for it. But this one's hacked, so you know Sprint won't know. Just kind of, uh, I believe what it does is it actually ports your phone's uh, IP address to the application instead of whereas the Sprint works straight off Sprint's. Uh, IP address so they can charge you but this one works Sprint Hotspot without paying for it uh, there's also USB uh, tethering you just have to connect your uh, phone to your computer I believe on Windows 7 and XP it'll recognize it as an end disk uh, adapter which just means that it's going to use it as a, a modem device you, you shouldn't have it have to install any um, extra drivers I'm not sure about Mac it might work too and Linux might work too. Uh, there's a uh, power control, rosy settings. Everything looks pretty good. I mean, you know, this is like everything working out of the box. Oh, let's go see if the 4G is working. I don't really get great 4G signals here in San Francisco, but I do get 4G. Um, so let's see if I get 4G, which is which is sort of important because uh, and you know you can go to uh, settings while it's connecting you can see if it's connecting or not 
settings, wireless networks, go down, and then you can just watch that screen. Oh, now it's connecting to Sprint, see? Obtaining IP. Okay, so I got 4G. Ooh, I'm getting pretty good signals here. So let me go download a, a speed test app and Limpack and go test it out real quick. So I got Limpack installed here. Let's run a benchmark. Let's see what we get. The first one could be, could be pretty low. 24, and it should start going up a little bit. I just do like five times. Let's just get the uh, 24. 30 31 30 so I get about 30 I mean with ginger King's gingerbread I was getting almost like 40 or 50 you know but uh, I can overclock it overcome this slowness not slowness but it's all right I wish it was a little bit faster Alright, let's go check out uh, 4G real quick. And then we'll do a speed test. Ah, I don't know why, sometimes it just drops me off 4G. Maybe there's too many people on it. Does that happen to you? Maybe it's just in the San Francisco area. It's connecting. Alright, alright, it's getting IP address. It's connected to Sprint. So let's go do a speed test real quick before I lose. 4G here. So on 4G in San Francisco, you should get about 1.5. It's not that fast here, so actually. I go to like Las Vegas, I get like 3 or 4 of it. Ooh, well, almost 2. Yeah, 2. Not bad. Not bad at all. If I get that like reliably, that'll be good, but I don't know. Sprint's 4G, they need to really put, put up more towers, or they're using. They're not using the same towers as Clearwire. Even though they own Clearwire, 50% of it, what they should do is share the towers, you know, because Clearwire has like way better, you know, s coverage. But I guess it's not bad. Maybe they, they did do that. I'm not sure, 2.7. It's pretty good. Anyway, this that was the review and also how to install McFroyo on your HTC Evo 4G. Uh, I'm gonna get the Nexus S today, later, a little bit later today. It should be arriving in my mail. Um, download, uh, if you're looking for something better, McFroyo is, I highly recommend it. Uh, let me also show you if there's any widgets. Because this ROM's been around. Um, well, I, I guess everything's pretty much normal. Uh, but highly recommend it. One thing I, I wish uh, the author of McFroyo would put on is an overclocked kernel so we can just install set CPU and just you know overclock it to like 1.5 gigahertz you know maybe that'll be the next one then I'll have a review another review anyway that was it um, check out accevohacks.com for more hacks and subscribe to my channel and tell all your friends um, you know karma is good for you so see y'all later